Kara Ustros here with realagriculture.com. We are at day one here of the National Farm Machinery Show here in Louisville, Kentucky. And I have here with me Todd DeBuck, who is the marketing manager with New Holland. How's it going today? It's, it's fantastic. So you got this nice, bright, shiny tractor behind you. Can you tell me a bit about it? Yeah, um, we're very pleased uh, to have the first public showing of our new line of Workmaster tractors from the Workmaster 95 through the Workmaster 120. Uh, making their debut here at the National Farm Machinery Show. So this just hit market now, I guess, as of today. So what are some of the main highlights you're, you're showing about it today? Well, I, I'd like to say the Workmasters to me are the perfect combination of value, comfort, and productivity. Uh, what we're actually standing in front of here is a, is a derivative model. Uh, this is our poultry house special, a tractor designed specifically for low clearance applications in, in poultry houses. Um, and some things that really stand out uh, in this that, that our customers have been asking for. Um, first of all, the low overall height. So we can get down to about 68 and a half inches uh, at 100 PTO horsepower, which means we've got the highest amount of power in the smallest package you can get right now in a low profile poultry tractor on the market. Uh, there's some other things too that you know, our customers told us, you know, one of the things when, when we're in the chicken house is a lot of times you get debris that'll, that'll feathers will, will, will uh, gather around the engine compartment. We've actually put some nice things on here like a, a standard reversing fan. So no longer does somebody have to get off to actually clean the feathers and debris off the front of the tractor. All they have to do is hit a button, the fan reverses and blows all that material off. So uh, they're more comfortable because they don't have to keep getting on and off the tractor and they're more productive as well. So what does this retail for? Uh, this one here is retail for around $63,000 as it sits. Um, and it comes fairly well loaded up. I mean, you've got uh, electro-hydraulically engaged four-wheel drive. We've got a 12 by 12 uh, hydromechanical clutchless shuttle. Uh, this actually comes creeper speed ready. So if you're in need of creeper speeds, very slow speeds, we're ready to go here. Uh, but some other things to kind of make it stand out a little bit, uh, it has an air ride seat on a ROPS tractor. So it's, folks said they want it to be comfortable. So we put an air ride seat on a ROPS tractor as standard equipment. So this is available throughout all of North America? This is available throughout North America. Um, we, we actually started shipping to our dealers back last month. Uh, so uh, as we, good timing. Uh, so as we introduce them at the shows here in the spring, they'll be rolling into our dealers. Our customers will be able to go right to the dealers. In fact, we've actually sold a couple of these babies. They've been in such pent up demand to have a high horsepower uh, poultry tractor. Uh, it's, it's, it's really going to do well for us. So they're uh, fully available for 2020? Fully available for 2020. And then probably on a, because this is more of a niche tractor, um, what we're going to sell the most highest quantity of is going to be our cab tractor. Uh, and hands down, uh, I think that the Workmaster 95, 105, and 120 cab tractors have the most comfortable ergonomic uh, uh, value cab on the market today. It's a four post design, four pillar design, outstanding visibility no matter where you're looking. Uh, you get a, a high visibility panel on it. A lot of these are gonna be probably 95% of them will go out with loaders on them. Uh, the high visibility panel is gonna allow you to see the loader through its full range of motion. And again, with that clutchless shuttle, it's really gonna make a great uh, material handling tractor, uh, as well as hang. I mean, with 100 PTO horsepower on tap for the largest model, you're able to run your round bale or your disc mower conditioner uh, and, and really do it effectively uh, and economically in the field. Okay, great. Anything else you'd like to add? Well, one of the things that we wanted to focus on a lot um, uh, with this uh, family of tractors, obviously they're Tier 4B emissions uh, regulations, they qualify for it, but we've got a unique uh, emissions, the way we get our emissions accomplished. So we use diesel emission fluid, uh, but we also use an SCR, Selective Catalytic Reduction Canister. And, and what really makes us stand out in the marketplace is with this system, there is no regeneration required. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of times, if, if uh, if manufacturers choose to use DPF filters uh, to meet their Tier 4B uh, emissions regulations, they have to regenerate and burn those cans off. We don't have to do that here. We also have an industry-leading 600-hour oil change interval. So when you want to talk about low cost of ownership, 
Uh, you've got a system uh, that's fully automatic uh, as far as your emissions go, nothing you have to touch or replace, and then you've got a 600 hour oil change interval, which means you're gonna be in the shop less often and, uh, and, and in the field doing your, doing your tests more often. Okay, awesome, great, thank you very much.